Today's topic is going to be an introduction on how to use Cam Editor with the Cam Generator function block. Hi, I am Micah Studeman. Cam Editor is a feature of Motionworks IC3, which simplifies the implementation of electronic camming in the controller. Cam Editor makes it easy to create CSV cam tables, generate dynamically changing cam profiles, create cam blend profiles, and export motion profiles to Sigma Select. In this video, we are going to look at using Cam Editor with the Cam Generator function block. Here's a quick preview. The Cam Generator function block creates a cam based on the information provided in the cam segment struct variable. Cam Editor simplifies the process of loading the structure by allowing the user to build the cam waveform and export it as structure text code, which fills the cam segment struct variable. Cam Editor also allows variables to be associated to main points in the cam, which allows the user to adjust for machine wear and different products. Now let's look at this in more detail. Before the Cam Generator block can be used, the Cam Toolbox needs to be added to the project library. The Cam Generator function block uses the Cam Segment structure and creates the Cam Table. The Cam Struct Select function block takes the Cam Table and places it into the controller memory. Normally, it would take a lot of time to set up the cam segment structure because the structure is complex. But when cam editor is used, the cam segment structure is simpler to fill. Now I'm going to open cam editor and load the cam profile from the previous video and add some variables to it. Variables can be added into the cam editor in two different ways. You can add them by simply clicking on the add variable button in the variable tab, or if you have already defined them in structured text code, you can copy and paste them into the Structured Text Code tab. I will use the second method because I have already defined my main positions in the Structured Text POU. To pull the main position variables into Cam Editor, just copy and paste them into the Structured Text Code tab. Then press the Convert SD Code to Cam Segment Table button. Cam Editor evaluates the Structured Text Code and only adds the blue text, which is the variables, to the Variable tab. Once the variables, along with their initial values, are in the variable tab, they can be linked to the correct points in the cam segment table tab of the cam editor. In the cam segment table tab, let's replace the hard-coded points from the previous cam table with the imported variables. The slave start position should be set to the slave underscore start variable. In row 1, the master position should be set to master underscore cycle minus offset. A warning will appear because the offset variable is not in the variable tab so the initial value needs to be set. I will set it to 180. The slave position should be set to slave underscore cycle. In row 2, the master position should be set to the master underscore cycle variable, and the slave position should be set to the slave underscore start variable. The resolution in row 1 should be set to g underscore outres, and the resolution in row 2 should be set to g underscore inres. As shown in row 1, Cam Editor allows simple expressions to define a main point. Since I am using variables to define my main cam profile points, I can change their values in the Variables tab and see that it updates the waveforms on the left side of the Cam Editor. For instance, let's say that I change the offset variable from 180 to 270. The Cam Profile waveforms will update to show the new position velocity, acceleration, and jerk waveforms. This is useful to see how the modified cam profile will affect the machine. To relate this to the hole punch application, variables such as the offset variable change how quickly the punch creates the hole and when the hole is created during the cycle. This is done without re-downloading the code to the controller or rebooting the controller. Now that all of the variables are added to the cam segment table, the cam segment structure can be created in structured text code by clicking on the convert cam segment table to SD code button in the toolbar. A box will pop up and ask for the cam segment structure name so it can create the required cam segment variable. This variable is already defined in the code as cam profile, so I will add that variable name here. Once this is done, I can copy the code into the structure text POU where the cam point variables are initialized. This POU needs to be in a cyclic task, otherwise the variable changes will not take effect. As the comment states, the cam profile must be defined in the POU so it can be used. To declare the cam segment variable, just select it, press F5, check that the data type is set to cam segment struct, check that the variable is global, and press OK. Also, because the offset variable was added in cam editor, 
it needs to be added in the POU. Now the project can be downloaded to the controller. While the master is rotating, I can enable the cam generator block and then cam in, which starts the cam profile. The cam profile can be changed by simply changing the offset variable from 180 to 270 and re-enabling the cam generator and cam in function blots. This is useful when using the HMI because the user can then adjust the cam for different products or for machine wear. To see other features that have been included in the cam editor, please view the other cam editor videos. Thanks for watching this video. Go to yaskawa.com slash IECSW to download the latest version of Moshworks IC3 and try out these features yourself with the 30-day demo.